How's it flying, guys? It's Lance Carblock 30, and John Tron has a new series? This is John Tron's Happy Hour, Episode 1, Heads and Horses. By the way, say hi, Hunter. Give me that, please. Okay. Okay, Hunter. Hunter, you want to kiss? You want to kiss, baby? You want to kiss? Go, go, girl. So, anyways, um, yeah, this is a bit of a surprise, considering... It looks like he was starting to do a monthly video upload, but now it looks like he's even started a new series. So, this is going to be interesting, I feel. Okay, yeah, set you down. Well, good girl. So, I don't know what to expect. It's JonTron. So, you know, he puts all, always puts pretty good quality into his videos. So, uh, wow, already a million views. Oh, wow. Already a million views. He just released it a few hours ago. Damn. This is the power of JonTron, ladies and germs. Ladies and gentlemen, man. Anyways, uh, as always, go watch the original before you watch me react to it. The link is in the description. Go watch it first. Give JonTron the views, not me the views. So anyways, well, me the views after you give John the views. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and go. Uh, yeah. So, what's the plan there, Jono? Hi there. Have you been suffering heat syncope like me, working out out here in the hot summer sun? Tonight you wear it as a badge of honor, with the heat syncope shirt, in black, green, and women's size. Don't forget to pick it up at represent.com, uh -huh. or... Merch. Goes away eventually. Goes away eventually. Don't miss out on your chance to get this exclusive new heat syncope shirt only at represent.com. And while you're there, don't forget to check out the rest of our great selection. See you later. Uh-huh. Will do, John. So, what do we got here? John Tron's happy hour behooved. Boys, it's good to see you all. What more does a guy need? Good beer, good friends, and good conversation. Rent money? Uh, I'm gonna go with health insurance. You got anything else cute to add, Andrew? No, I think they pretty much covered it. So, this what this is? I am addicted to Blu-rays. I, I will see them, I will buy them, I will shake them to make sure that the disc has not rattled around. Okay. Like a man testing a melon. I will like feel it, sleep with it. You are not addicted Next to Blu-rays. You are not addicted to Blu-rays. Is there a word past addiction? You, you are addicted, not just to Blu-rays, but whatever dumb video format shit. So, tomorrow somebody can say Red Rays and they're slightly fucking Jeez. more higher resolution. It's like, oh, this is the newest thing for my home video shit. It depends, is it 8K? Oh my god. Fuck oh you. my god. He, he just proved he, it. He already started upgrading to fucking HDR, 4K HDR discs. I love them. Sergio was actually showing me something on the TV once, and he was like, look at the difference between these, like, two formats. And I swear to god, the most you could come up with after me looking at it was, yeah, one's just a bit brighter than the other. <laughs> you motherfucker. It's placebo at a certain point. Wait, was this yeah. HDR? I don't know, it was shown the difference between like a two Blu-rays. Some Blu-ray masters will not be as high res and they're kind of shitty. And sometimes they get fixed. You're full of so, shit, full of it, is this like a... Do you remember the difference between Terminator 2 and Terminator 2? You, you realize Podcast like, excerpts? Is like now. Yeah, kind of what it feels like. Goes, we're all fucked when the internet yeah. goes, that's Sergio. Because, that's because they dropped the bomb on us and we're gone. Yes, that's we're gonna have other problems to worry yeah, about. Yeah, but I don't know. I like. I don't yeah. have access to my bank. Listen, I have. I like the physical texture of it, like having it on the wall and. This is an addict, like, oh, Sergio. It's, like, it's an addict. Sheesh. When it goes into my vein and I can feel it hit my jugular, it goes straight across my blood-brain barrier. But but seriously though, as a collector, I just I love watching Sergio. them on the wall. Sergio. I have a little light for them. Sergio, this is an intervention. Uh, We're gonna have to like okay. tighten down DVDs. Sergio, you showed me a fucking box of like 500 DVDs that you said okay. I'm gonna replace this for the last time with all these Blu-rays. It's never the last time. Now you're gonna fucking replace them all over again. No, no, I'm not gonna replace all of them. No, no, you're, you're no. fucking back with me. No. What? Why would I? Honey, honey, when I came here, when you met me, these were Blu-rays. Now they're all HDRs. I've made progress in my life. First this off. is my- Okay, this feels kind of weird. To bring women back to their caves and go, do you see that? It is now Onyx. Before, it was just Pewter. Why do they have this accent? Yeah, I don't- what accent this was This was that? Onyx, now it is Pewter. I have upgraded my collection of rock. Okay. I talk to you because it's the only way you listen. Because every time you go look, look, you look at me with those- Are these conver like, drunk conversations what it feels like? It feels like a drunk podcast. It's the truth, it's the truth. 
every time you open your mouth, I just zone out. I'm just like, okay, guys, goodbye, deuces, I'm out. Well, okay, sometimes Andrew's like, like language goes into lunacy. Like, I, I don't know what you're saying sometimes. The longer, a the longer you allow Andrew to speak, the more chance it devolves into like an airline crash. And okay, hold on. I'm gonna look. So what? I'm looking to see the actual um, details of this video. Whatever you do, don't forget to forget. Okay. Um, okay. We're burning up in the atmosphere. Sometimes we go looking for the black box. We have a... <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what the fuck. What did he mean when he said? <laughs> By the way, this is, Sergio, you really you shouldn't be the one to talk. <laughs> I guess you're right. I have word diarrhea. It's problem. Yeah, word it's diarrhea. Like I just be talking. I have regular diarrhea. Oh. It's also a problem. Is it also yeah. coming out of your mouth? That's the problem. Why, when I left for lunch, you were in the bathroom, and when I came back from lunch, you were also in the bathroom. <laughs> that is true. That is true. To him, I've been in there the entire time. And I am known to spend a good amount of time in the bathroom, but not that long. Before. Sorry. What are you doing there? That's one of my next questions. Uh, look at myself in the mirror longingly. Does this happen? Do you use the bathroom and look at the mirror at the same time? Well, if the mirror was positioned correctly, I suppose I could do that. Have you? Hey, hang on. Have you ever been in a bathroom oh. where there's a mirror like? Like, like facing the toilet. That's, oh, that's awkward. I don't want to make eye contact with myself, make, like taking a you, shit. Like, you have to wonder about the designer of that space. Yeah, why? That this person apparently has no qualms watching themselves do their business. Hold on, hold on. In that same way, are you the that's kind of person that feels completely self-conscious when you take a shit or in the bathroom in general? <laughs> well, I'm not just sitting there nervously. Do leave, hang on, do you leave the door open when you... When you're in the bathroom, you live by yourself. Well, yeah. depends. It yeah. um, depends on the situation. Well, I, what does that even mean? I leave the door open with Henry home. Yeah, see, that's weird care. to me. I would never fucking do that. We both do that. We don't give a shit. Clearly. We don't, <laughs> Clearly. You when you're taking a shit. I won't do that. Oh, I will have a long conversation. If, if I'm taking a shit and you call me, I will continue to talk to you as if nothing is wrong. Yeah, I won't do that. I feel so dirty. If I were, I, that's, that's why I don't tell you anymore, Michael. When you call me, I just pretend like I'm not. A I man. used to tell you, and now look, you've ruined it. I just don't tell you, Serge. It's not like hell. I'm thinking about getting a new lens, Michael. We all know it's because you're afraid of the government spying on your bathroom habits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. they, they, they could be hearing your movements, figuring out when to bust in when you're exactly. away. Exactly. They know how irregular I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. They can exploit this information. Wait, actually, I could bring this How weird. The one that I really want to This talk feels about. odd. The, okay, the and topic it... that I really want to talk about was Mike's hilarious paranoia of all things like surveillance. This is so odd. Like, I've never... Like, it's not necessarily bad, but it's just so odd. It's so different. And different isn't always bad. I gotta clarify that. But this has just hit me out of left field. With its with the oddity of it, for some reason. I mean, I I listened to a couple of Rooster Teeth podcasts way back, way back when. Uh, but it's like, wow. You have a little Trader Joe's bag that you cut out and put <laughs> and put over your laptop's camera. Like the, the FBI are watching Mike Shane right now. Quick, did you turn off the Mike Shane feed? Look, we need to know what this man is up to. No, I'm just saying, if you want to see the show, you gotta pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my cam, my cam account. You know, Mike Shane is a very like basic ass name. There's probably a lot of yes, which is very handy. For what, Michael? Handy for what? I plead the fifth. I like how we just, okay. just detest the idea of being bored so much. Water, for instance, is kind of a boring drink, right? Yeah. We'll go yeah. to much lengths not to be bored. We'll drink diet fucking soda, which is basically just. Regular soda that tastes like bleach. You drink uh, Dr. Pepper. That's a regular soda that also tastes like some sort of crap chemical concoction. Well, that too, but at least... What the fuck is the flavor in that? Dr. Pepper? Yeah. 20 fish? There's like 32 yeah, one flavors. Of them, one, of them is, <laughs> one of them is old chew. One of them is higher. Hey, don't you yeah. piss on Dr. Well, Pepper. I wonder if Michael hates Dr. Pepper, guys. I think I, I hate Dr. Michael Pepper. Why do you hate Dr. Pepper? He went through at least four years of medical school. Did just you? to be a can that you can drink. Okay, so cola, cherry, licorice, amaretto, almond, vanilla, blackberry, apricot, 
blackberry, caramel, pepper, anise, anise, anise. See, I told you it was in there. S sarsaparilla. I didn't know that was real, but it's in Dr. Pepper. I thought that was something from the Looney Tunes, really. I thought that was something some Sylvester the Cat said. Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla, supper and suck it, ass. That's my, by the way, that's my official example. <laughs> that's my real Sylvester impression. Okay. You got ginger, molasses, lemon plum, orange, nutmeg, cardamom, allspice. Wait, you mean the deodorant? Not Old Spice. <laughs> All Spice. So I'm, I'm assuming they mean scary baby ginger. No. And sporty. The entire Powerpuff Girls ingredients. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, but I want to... That's, that's... I'm not done. Not done. Coriander, juniper, birch, and prickly ash. I'm, I'm surprised. Did you mix one of those up? No, I swear to God, look for yourself. That's literally everything in here. So wow. it's just a garbage dump of ingredients. I'm surprised you can combine that many things of varying origin and have it taste like anything, really. That's why they call him <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Yeah, he sure is a doctor. He's fucking working magic. It's the Dr. Mingalove soda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were a different kind of doctor, okay? It's the, it's the, it's the cola of death. Some sort of atrocity. It's a real fucking war crime. Wow. We gotta go back in time and stop him before it gets rude. <laughs> Be careful though, because back in the day, you used to get stabbed by swords. Yeah, like you. Yeah. Like, no, no, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Sir, like, you went, you went really far for back in the no. day. Back in my day, a man would ride up to you on a horse and he'd just stomp all over your head. Do you know people used to die that way? That... Yeah, I think they still die that way if they're under the legs of a horse. Yeah. <laughs> if their head is in that yeah, kind of. These days, these days people's heads are impervious to horses. <laughs> You know, back in the day when my soft spot used to... What I, what I meant was that back in the day, that was like a legit thing. Like, if you walked out of, like, a bar and you were on your way to your house, you could probably slip on some mud and then, like, get your head run over by a fucking horse. You can do that! You can still do that! Yeah, you can! That's still a possibility, absolutely, 100%. That took a... Not all the times you're connecting to Wi-Fi. In hotels, cafes, airports, or even quaint little pubs like this one. Did you know that without a VPN, anyone on the same Wi-Fi network can easily see all your internet activity? ExpressVPN encrypts all your internet data, so even if a hacker does try to gain access, all they see is numbers. If someone gets their hands on your details, they can open bank accounts in your name, access your emails, social media accounts, or even private photos. I keep ExpressVPN on all the time, on all my devices. And because of that, I know Creepy Albert over there won't be getting his hands on my cat pictures again anytime soon. What you say about me? I know it was you, you slimy crustacean! Take what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? By clicking the link in my description box. ExpressVPN.com. Okay, are you gonna explain this? It's $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. ExpressVPN.com slash Jontron for three months free with a one-year package. Visit ExpressVPN.com slash Jontron to Actually sounds like a good deal. I love that warm, fuzzy feeling of internet security. And beer. And beer. Hmm. Okay. This just feels... Odd. Oh, stop it. Stop. Okay. This felt so weird. Like, I'm not used to hearing John just talk with other people like this. Like, normally, there's a gig, there's a skit. Or something. <laughs> this, this just felt odd. I wonder who animated it, because it was an interest, a decently well animated video. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This, is, this one might be an acquired taste for me. I think this one's going to be an acquired taste for some people, myself included, but not necessarily a bad. Not necessarily a bad one, though. I want to clarify that. Yeah, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Like if you enjoyed, comment which of the stories that we're talking about that you found the most relatable or found funny or whatnot, or if you even care for this format he's doing. Subscribe if you're new, and tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise. And also go join my Discord. Links to that will be in the description as well. Uh, this has been Lance Corporal Hawk 30 signing off. It's just so weird. It's weird.